How's it going? This is Julio Shorio, Lumix Luminary, and today I want to show you some key tips for making living photographs using Flixel Cinemagraph Pro for Mac. First thing is you want to have a good tripod to keep your images steady because we are making these with short video clips as opposed to one single still frame. Second thing is you want to have a camera capable of recording high quality HD video. And the third thing is you want to have a constant light source. You can use the sun, but because we're in studio, we're using LED lights. Once I've downloaded my files from my SD card onto my desktop, I want to quickly review what we captured. Now here we can see this is the actual video file that we captured on camera. I'm gonna play this so we can follow along. This was shot for Mitch Stone Essentials and what we wanted to do for this particular shot is showcase the beauty of the hair by animating the shine. And you could see here how we did that. We used a Westcott ice light and we had an assistant move the ice light off camera so we can see the beauty of the shine. Now, if we let this play, what we have essentially is just a video portrait, but I wanna take this to the next level and make a Cinemagraph image using Flixel Cinemagraph Pro. Now, in case you don't know, a Cinemagraph image is a hybrid of still and video where the parts that don't move, in this case, it's gonna be the face and the shoulders, is they still photograph, and the parts that do move, in this case, the shine is going to be the video. Um, let's now jump over to Cinemagraph Pro and get to building this image here. So we're gonna launch Cinemagraph Pro. We can create a new document. And I'm gonna select the video file we just looked at. And we're gonna save the file of the Cinemagraph. Okay, now we're gonna go into the interface of Flixel Cinemagraph Pro. The first thing we're going to see is the trim tool. The uh, trim with the trim tool, the master frame is already anchored for us, which you can see right here. It's a little purple dot. And then what is really handy is that the video is layered over the top of the master frame. And this helps us look for the, uh, the sweet spot. Now, if you're doing this in a video editing program, you have to separately render out your video and a still frame and later on top, and it's just a big mess after a while. With the uh, Flixel Cinemagraph Pro, this process is very easy and straightforward. Um, so this is gonna save you a ton of time. So now that uh, we're gonna trim up our sweet spot, we gotta look for an area where the model is very steady. And you can see here, because we have the video laying over the master frame, that there's a lot of movement. And what we did to keep our model steady was to incorporate a posing table and a stool. It's very important to keep your model steady when you're shooting this because a steady model is gonna make your life a lot easier in post. Let's find the sweet spot here. Looks like we're getting pretty close. There it is. I think that's it. That looks pretty good to start. Um, I kind of lost my master frame. It's behind this little piece right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click right here and check this out. Reset still image. And it brings the master frame to the front of this clip. Now, if I want to, in this case, you can see her skin as good as it is, there may be some imperfections. Maybe I want to erase some of the hairs off her lip. Uh, retouching video, if you've ever tried it, is very difficult and it's not fun. Uh, with uh, Flixel Cinemagraph Pro, what you can do is actually export a still image, bring it into your image editing program, uh, retouch it, and re-import the uh, nice cleaned uh, in, uh, retouched image and lay that on top of the video. So I'm just gonna quickly export my master frame. Now, once I'm done with my retouch, I go to import still image 
and I can import my master frame and lay that right on top of the finished uh, cinema graph with the retouch piece. So that is a way if you want to do if you want to add retouching to your video, that is the easiest way in the world to do it because you're only retouching one frame as opposed to other programs retouching 30 frames per second. So now I'm going to quickly go over to the mask and we're going to utilize Flixel's live painting technology to paint in the parts of the living photo that we want to see move. To make this easy, I'm going to hit the overlay mask feature. Now that shows me the entire still image, but as I paint, and I'm quickly going to make my brush larger and increase the hardness. As I paint, you can actually see the parts come alive. Now this is amazing. You know, I've been doing this since 2009, and I can tell you doing this in 2009 took me 12 to 14 hours. <laughs> and now you're seeing us live in front of me, uh, right in front of you, and uh, it's taking me just minutes. Look at that, and I've got a basic animation ready to go right there. I mean, that, that's super powerful. But I want to get more detailed. Why not, right? So I can zoom in, and I can quickly see an area where the mask is not quite working out right here. So I want to smooth that out. I'm going to take my opacity down just a little bit, make my brush soft and smaller, and I'm going to go in, and I'm basically going to start to feather out this area here. This really helps smooth the mask. And again, if you're, if you're going to try this in video editing software, it is very challenging to do. But with Flixel Cinemagraph Pro, it is designed specifically for this task, and it does it in a very elegant fashion. Look at that. So we're just going to keep softening this mask up. Looks like there's a spot there I want to paint back in. Look at that. There we go. And I think I'm just going to zoom out and finish the painting like so. I think that'll help. Let's see. Beautiful. Wow, that looks awesome. That looks great. So from this point, I can go over to the loop function and we can see here that we have our loop already set to bounce. Now the uh, bounce or reverse loop starts from the left, goes all the way to the right of the video and then bounces back to the left at a, in an endless loop. That I found to be most suitable for this particular image. However, there's another option called repeat or forward loop and that works with a crossfade which we can see here at the end of the video. So the forward loop starts at the left of the video, plays to the right, and then at, and then as it gets to the end of the video, fades back to the master frame at the very beginning. Another option we have here is the speed, and you can see that I've slowed down to speed. A little slower than full, but you can actually speed it up if you needed to. I like this right there. And then you have the delay if you wanna add the element of surprise to your work. Now, at this point, I'm pretty happy with the way this looks, but if I wanted to add more uh, another effect to my image. I have over 20 built-in filters in Flixel Cinemagraph Pro. You've got some black and whites, sepia, instant looks, but I'm gonna keep this saved at none. I like the way it looks. So at this point, I can actually render my video in full HD or beyond HD if you're shooting 4K, and I can choose either a movie or an animated GIF. With the, uh, if I export a movie, it exports an MP4 and I can send that directly to my client. And from that point, they can import it uh, for their own use in presentations or perhaps even to their own Flixel account. And if I'm using animated GIF, again, we can use animated GIFs in uh, places online where it is appropriate to use an animated GIF. My preference is the movie because we're keeping all the millions of colors that come built in to our uh, video and as opposed to an animated GIF, which uses just 256 colors. Okay, then from here I can save my MP4 if I want to save my video. I'm just going to hit cancel, and I'm going to use what's actually what is my preferred method. I'm going to upload this to the Flixel server. And the cool thing is when you upload to Flixel, it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. We can see here this is what the final image looks like 
living on Flixel's server. And from here, we can share with different social media accounts right here, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Google+, whatnot. And then we can actually embed it using iframe technology. This is a proprietary Flixel iframe technology. However, any place that you can embed a YouTube video, you can actually embed a Flixel. And that is pretty awesome because we don't have, uh, we're missing a playhead here and we don't want to see the playhead. We don't want to show that this is a looping video. We want to show that this is a living photo. Look how nice and clean and elegant this is. And that is really key when using Flixel Cinemagraph Pro is that you can get to your work quickly, easily, and the results speak for themselves. Thanks for watching. This is Julio Shorio, Flixographer, Lumix Luminary, and founder of smallcamerabigpicture.com.